Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you can't tell by the excitement on my face, I am going to be unboxing my dream laptop. Currently upgrading from my MacBook Air. But anyways, let's just get into it. This is so pretty. Um, in comparison, if you were curious, this is what my um, old MacBook box looks like. Oh my god, I have the MacBook Pro. No way. Wow, holy shit, this is, oh, has some nice weight to it. Oh my god, before I open this, let's go to everything else in the box. We have this little pamphlet. Oh my god, this is huge. What the heck? This is so huge, oh my god. The other one that I have is a 30 watt charger. 67 watts, oh my god, that is huge. That is more than double the amount of power so this will charge my macbook really fast because look how huge it is compared to my old one that'll be really handy but what is in here oh my god no way you get like some space gray colored apple stickers that is so cool even though i don't ever use my apple stickers but like i do actually i remember my old macbook had gold ones let me bring that one out Let's see I had gold ones from matching my gold MacBook Air. So pretty. And I have space gray ones now matching my space gray MacBook Pro. This is what they look like if you wanted to know. Because they usually just only come in white. <sighs> we got some instructions and like a little introduction. Oh my god, the touch bar. I cannot wait to show that. I can't wait to see it. Well, that's pretty cool. If you wanted to know, okay, you get some nice space gray apple stickers that i will definitely never use <laughs> but um really cool nonetheless um, and i'll take that out later but you also get another usb-c to usb-c cord but i will just keep using my old one because it still works fine and now for the big reveal oh my god this is so cool and i haven't even taken it out of the little sleeve but let's let's do a nice little asmr pulling This is so, this is such a pretty color. This is like this space gray. It, I've never had anything that was space gray colored. It's only ever been like silver or gold. And I wanted to try a new color. I think space gray looks really good. Oh my God, it does. Look at that. Oh my God, this is so pretty. Wow. I wanna show it comparing it to my MacBook Air, the gold one. So literally the exact same size which is good. It means it'll fit all my cases. You get some charging things over there and a headphone jack, same thing as my other one. Let's, let's do, let's open it up. Let's open the lid. What the fuck? Look at this. I mean, like I'm acting like I've never seen a laptop before. I've definitely played with these in the Apple stores, but Oh my god, that touch bar, wow. That is so freaking cool. <laughs> the touch bar is, I haven't even turned it on yet, but like, look how cool this little thing is. That's honestly the main reason why I wanted to get it was this little touch bar. But let's turn it on so we can see it. I think it's probably dead. Yep, she's dead. So I'm gonna have to charge this and then come back to it. This is the same thing that happened with my Apple Watch. She just turned on. Wait, oh my god. Ah, what? Oh my god, look at this touch bar. What the fuck? Oh my god, it's actually like a really nice, like, frosted glass feel. Touch ID. I mean, I've always had touch ID on my old MacBook, but.
Apple Pay, I'll set it up later. And there's my MacBook. Oh my god, how much percent are we on? 12, lol. So, my laptop is currently updating to the newest macOS Sonoma, and I will rearrange some stuff around, and I'm still kind of playing around with it. And yeah, I'll just come back to you guys when I'm finished setting it up. Hey guys, so I was gonna do like a one week later review as I usually do with all my unboxing videos but it's actually two months later and we are in a different place now. Let's start off with why I actually upgraded to begin with. So if you didn't know I had my previous gold 2019 MacBook Air. I've had it for a solid four years. It did me really well for its purpose, which I actually only got it for school. In 2021, when my YouTube channel started to pick up with YouTube Shorts, I started posting some five minute craft videos. I just reposted them onto YouTube Shorts and they were doing really well and got me over millions of views and gave me a bunch of subscribers really quickly. And then I restarted my YouTube channel again. So I started editing my videos on my MacBook Air on iMovie just because it was free. I even got monetized last year in 2023 and I'm taking YouTube more seriously again this year. I'm taking it like actually seriously. I'm gonna try and post every single week. So what I really need with a laptop is something that can actually support the editing software that I'm using which is Final Cut Pro and just to edit videos really fast and rendering files. I even have Final Cut on my MacBook Air, but it's really slow and glitchy and takes forever for files and the video to render. So I really looked into getting a new laptop. It took me like a few months to find out which one I actually wanted. This one has 128 gigabytes of storage, which I thought was enough, but editing videos, it definitely is not enough at all. I run out of storage so quickly, it got to one point where I actually couldn't even finish editing a video because I completely ran out of storage. I'm going to quickly talk about the specific specs about this laptop specifically. If you wanted to know, this is the 2022 MacBook Pro, the 13.3 inch retina display. I got it in the lovely space grey colour. It has the M2 chip which includes an 8 core CPU, 10 core GPU and an 8 gigabytes of RAM which is perfect for editing videos and I got in 512 gigabytes of storage which was definitely needed. It came with the touch bar which was the main reason why I got this laptop and it also still had touch ID. My last MacBook had touch ID so that was really good and I actually got it for 1955 Australian dollars which I think is a huge deal. It saved me $344 from the original price that Apple was selling it, but because they discontinued it and I got it from a different website and also I got a 15% off discount code, I ended up getting it for so much cheaper. I did a little comparison from this laptop to the MacBook Air. The only differences, like other little things here and there, was it has an additional eight hours of battery life which is really good. It also is only 100 grams heavier than my MacBook Air. I've also noticed that the trackpad is slightly wider, like literally only by 1.5 centimeters. The little Touch ID sensor thing here is slightly bigger than my previous MacBook Air. The keyboard is also slightly taller, I've also noticed. So like before, it was very flat. I think it was called the butterfly keyboard but this keyboard is slightly taller and i like it it feels more like clicky and also obviously because it's a pro and not the air it's slightly thicker than the macbook air and another thing that i've also noticed is that the fan inside it because it doesn't actually overheat as much as my previous macbook did it really overheated like a lot i have actually not heard the fan go off once now let's talk about the touch bar specifically you can customize the touch bar to do whatever you want for every single application that you have opened let's say the normal desktop you can do specific things you want to it you can customize it around the notes app final cut pro imovie youtube so many different things just google in itself switching between tabs it's there's so many things you can do with it another thing you can do is customize the touch bar specifically so you have this little touch bar with a control strip which i'll talk about but these little two things that you have right here that i'm showing you this one over here does the brightness you can just hold on it and swipe it up and down or I can just tap each side to do it up by one little interval. Same with the volume control. I only have it for two things. You can have up to four things on this little control strip but I only have two things on here that I use the most which is brightness 
and the volume and then you can touch this little arrow over here to expand the control strip to do whatever you want you can move them around you have like a default setting on there but I've moved some stuff around to what I like you can add some new things you can take away some things you can add up to 13 or 14 things I have the volume buttons same with the mute button brightness keyboard brightness pause and play and the skip back and forwards button and a cool little screenshot button which you couldn't do before so I can easily press this button and then get the screenshot which I think is really cool. Typing suggestions, let's say I'm going to type subscribe but I spelled subscribe wrong then it will give up a suggestion and I can just type so there you go. If you want to put that away you can. Emojis which are really cool. Beforehand you have to press this little button over here which is called FN and then you have this little thing pop up which is the emojis i never really used emojis before on a laptop because i find it kind of pointless but ever since um, i have this new button over here which i can just press um, i can open up the emojis and go to all my emojis there are also so many shortcuts to do with final cut pro that i really like which is also another main reason why i wanted to get the touch box specifically the volume button is <laughs> really helpful honestly and just a few other little things i can just easily scrub on the timeline as you can see right now i'm easily swiping through the timeline then before i had to like use the trackpad and swipe all the way out and it was really glitchy before so this is just so much easier to do with uh, Final Cut Pro, which is really helpful. Another little cool thing is you can do is you can do these timeline scrubbing. So whether you're watching a video on the Photos app or you have a file and you, you're opening up like a video and you're scrolling through the video playback, which is really cool. So you can just easily go to like a specific spot on the touch bar by watching a specific video. This means that when you're watching YouTube videos, you can skip ads which I thought was so freaking cool and I haven't heard that many people talk about it probably because they're trying to gatekeep it which is fair enough but I think now that Apple has discontinued the touch bar and it's been out for I think since 2016 or 17 apparently you could do it this since the start so I don't think Apple is going to get rid of this feature anytime soon because they probably would have done it already but yeah any type of YouTube video you're watching and it has an ad you can just swipe away and it will think that the ad has finished playing out and the ad will be skipped and it was it works every single time and I think that is the coolest thing because now I can watch any YouTube video I want to and skip the ad and a little thing that the touch bar has like enabled this cool new feature if you're watching YouTube videos is picture in picture which you could not do before so I was Watching any single video, let's go to this one, just press this little button here and you can put your screen up in picture and picture mode, which I think is so cool. So I could do whatever I want, I could be taking notes, I could be like editing videos or like sorting out my files and then I could be watching YouTube in the background like right here. I think it's so cool because you could not do this before. There's literally no way to do this. I think maybe unless you have like a YouTube premium account or something, maybe you can do this. I don't know, but there was no way to do it before, which I think is freaking amazing. There's so many new things you can do with the touch bar that I have not even discovered yet. So maybe in like the one year mark, I'll do like a full video on the touch bar and just everything to do with my MacBook like I did with my iPhone. I did like a one year review and my Apple Watch. I talked about everything I liked and disliked. So yeah, that's kind of everything that I want to talk about with the MacBook Pro. I really love this laptop. It's come very handy for editing videos. It's so fast and very smooth and it's not glitchy at all. It's very perfect. I'm so happy with it. If you like this video, make sure you let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It would really help my channel out and make sure to follow me on Instagram too and I'll see you guys in the next video.